Have you ever spilt water over an electronic gadget? You probably have, and this thing could be the solution to all your problems. So in this video we're taking a look at a tiny little product called Flash Flood. This is by the UK based company called Nanostates and basically the idea is, is that apparently if you spray it on your smartphone, tablet or any other electronic device, it can fully waterproof it. That is a very strong claim with other services that actually offer this sort of capability costing two to three times as much. This little bottle here can apparently waterproof up to three devices and costs just under £25. We've seen stuff like this at CES and stuff, but I just assumed it was a long way away and that home use technology like this is just not available. So the phone we're actually going to be testing this on is the Vinovo S6 Plus, which you may have seen quite recently I gave a rather unfavourable review to. It's a pretty cheap phone because I don't really want to risk this with something actually worth anything. My hunch is this probably won't work, it does seem a little bit too good to be true. So anyways, what you first need to do is to remove the back cover. On devices where you can't remove the back cover, this is not going to work. The idea is that you need to separate the back cover, the battery and the phone itself because those are the three points where water can get in. So after very quickly giving it a wipe and getting rid of any dirt or dust, you spray the flash flood onto the provided cloth and just rub it in very very thoroughly everywhere you can see. So after applying one coat, we leave it overnight and then do it once more the next day. Okay, and after the second coat, we just leave it overnight and then rub off all the excess oil using a soft tissue or something equivalent. And now we basically just stick the battery in and hope it works. So, moment of truth, holding down the back button, and yes, it does still turn on. That is pretty good news, I guess. We have just coated the phone in oil, don't forget, so it's positive. And now for the real test. We're just going to immerse the definitely not previously waterproof phone in water and see what happens. Okay, so an hour has now passed. Let's see if the phone is working. So, so far it's absolutely covered in water, but you can actually see that the water is just sort of trickling off. There's water inside the device as well as on the top, and the screen does still work. So you can see, although it's still functioning and turning on, I'm having a bit of trouble using the actual touchscreen. I mean, the resistive screen was bad as it is, but there's definitely something a little bit off here. But this could be water that's still in the device, so what I'm going to do is just leave it for another set of day, and then give it a go. Guys, it actually works! The whole phone is functioning perfectly after leaving it overnight again to just dry everything out and I'm pretty blown away to be honest, this tiny little bottle, 5 milliliters, can cover your whole device and actually fully waterproof it. So other technologies like Liquipel and other competing ones, you know, costing £100, £200, are actually not really necessary. At least in my testing of this device, it works perfectly, so although I can't safely say that it's going to work on yours, it's very, very encouraging. Nanotech, you guys just made my day. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more.